This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 10th of June. The weather unusually active in recent days. And again today, the chance of severe storms across the state and flash flooding, a concern as well. So let's go in there and dive into this and take a look. That's the uh, big picture this morning. The water vapor satellite imagery, a very dynamic system for June across the southern plains moving in from the west. And as we talked about yesterday, that looks more like something you might see in March or April. And considering the time of the year, the air will be pretty unstable in advance of that, and that'll set the stage for some strong storms later. That was a radar view at 5.06 this morning. Already some storms in progress in west and northwest Alabama. Flash flood watch is in effect today, basically from Birmingham north and west. I guess you might say along and north of Interstate 59 might be a better way of describing that. You can see uh, that also includes parts of West Tennessee and North Mississippi. And that's the convective outlook today. Uh, the standard slight risk of severe weather basically along and west of a line from near Anniston to Clanton and Chatham down in southwest Alabama. And uh, that includes Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden. The prime threat will be from strong straight line winds like recent uh, events we have seen here, but we should note the tornado probability is not zero. Uh, in fact, uh, the guys at SPC have a 5% circle over northwest Alabama. Uh, that means there's a 5% chance of a tornado within 25 miles of a given point. And, you know, that sounds low, but understand tornadoes are very small. Uh, and even large tornadoes compared to a big county is small. So uh, we'll keep an eye on the radar pretty carefully today. Tornadoes are rare in June, but they can happen. Uh, and then tomorrow, just the low in 5% severe weather possibilities over about the southern two-thirds of the state. No formal risk. And this is the rain expected for the next five days. Coming from the guys at WPC, this is valid through uh, um, Sunday morning at 7 o'clock. And you can see the bullseye, 2.5 inches. Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Gadsden, Huntsville, Scottsboro is in that with uh, lighter amounts surrounding that. Of course, that's one of the reasons a flash flood watch is up. A lot of folks got more heavy rain last night, and the ground is getting rather saturated. All right, uh, this is the GFS valid today at 1 o'clock, and there's your uh, big trough west of the state. Down below that, there's a, uh, a surface low that's on the Missouri-Arkansas border with showers and thunderstorms in the warm sector south and east of there. This is the uh, HRRR, the HER model, valid today at 2 o'clock local time. You can see an organized band of storms moving into northwest Alabama with isolated storms out ahead of that thing. And then this is 6 o'clock this evening, and the storms are uh, approaching Birmingham at that point. And you can see that the line is not particularly solid. Uh, uh, the storms are more cellular in nature, and, and those could be pretty strong. We'll have to keep an eye on those things. Again, they could produce some hail, strong winds, and we cannot rule out the chance of a tornado somewhere. This is the instability coming off the HER model, valid today at 2 o'clock. And where you see the shades of red, that's where the surface-based capes will likely exceed 3,000 joules per kilogram. And again, that's not unusual for, for June. This is summer. The numbers are always high every afternoon because it's, you know, always hot. But with the dynamic system coming in like that, you know, that becomes significant. Uh, there's some helicity involved. This is the 0 to 3 kilometer storm relative helicity. And those numbers aren't sky high, but again, they're significant for June. And this is the wind field at about 5,000 feet, the low-level jet. This is where the pressure is 850 millibars. And again, those numbers aren't screaming, but they're very uh, stout for this time of the year, 30 and 40 knots there. And the energy helicity index numbers are ramping up a good bit. In fact, they're showing over three units up there in the Tennessee Valley today. So uh, we'll be watching. And this is the projected uh, STP, significant tornado parameter, at 11 o'clock this morning coming off the ruck. This is as far out as we can access this. This is coming from the SPC site. And uh, the STP ramps up to a 1 and uh, over northwest Alabama. And again, uh, we're just saying, I'm not saying this will be a major tornado outbreak today. It won't be, but there could be a tornado somewhere over North Alabama. So all eyes will be on the sky. All right, this is tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Uh, the moisture axis stays in place. No dry air punches in here. Again, we'll forecast scattered to numerous showers and storms tomorrow. Uh, the severe weather possibility is much lower, but again, there could be some flash flooding concerns. 
This is Thursday. The dynamic support weakens, so perhaps the showers will be fewer in number and mainly during the afternoon and evening hours on Thursday. And pretty much the same thing on Friday. But even Friday, there's a surface low west of the state. Um, so certainly a chance of at least scattered storms. All right, weekend fans, let's take a look. This is uh, back in the upper levels. This is at 500 millibars Saturday at 1. We've still got troughing west of the state now. And again, with the moist air mass in place, no doubt there'll be showers and storms around. It's not going to rain all day, but with, by golly, with some upper support, you might even have a morning shower. And this is Sunday. You know, the model tried to dry us out. And it's trending drier, but still, there's clearly a chance of at least scattered afternoon storms based on this. The next week on Monday, that does look drier. We'll go to a week from today, an upper high begins to develop over Alabama. And uh, that's right, Tuesday of next week should be relatively dry, and the heat cranks up with low 90s possible. And let's go out there five more days. June 22nd, tropical mischief on the GFS over the Gulf and uh, maybe just off the South Atlantic coast. And understand this is pure voodoo. This stuff probably won't happen. And on June 25th, it brings a tropical storm up into Alabama, but we'll believe that when we see it. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today, if we can, if the weather's not too active. And if you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News, the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.